Hey there. Tonight we're going to discuss being brave and what it means to be brave and um, just kind of the revelation and journey the Lord has had me on for the past couple of years about the word brave. Um, I remember the first time someone told me that I had been braved, I was sort of shell-shocked because what I imagined being brave meant I had never felt in my whole life. And so I thought, well, if that's coming from the Lord, maybe I need a new definition. And as we've been talking about being in the fire, I really believe that one of the things that's forged in the fire is a spirit of bravery. And I think we'll understand that a little more as we kind of jump in to this definition. The Lord showed me Luke eleven twenty nine. And um, it says blessed are, but he um, superimposed the word brave instead of blessed or blessed. Um, brave are those who hear the word of God and put it into practice. I just think that is the truest bravery ever. And so he gave me a couple acronyms for brave and then he put it all together. And so I'm going to read it, and I just encourage you to um, pause the video, listen to it a couple times, let it sink in, maybe take some notes, and allow yourself to be transformed into understanding the kind of bravery the Lord is forging in you. Bold, real, alive, valiant, enough, brave. Beautiful, radiant, activated, vibrant, exceptional brave, believing, revelatory, adoring, victorious, enduring, brave, brilliant, resilient, ambitious, virtuous, excellent, brave. And then he put it all together for me. To be bold, you must be real. And to be real is to be alive. To be alive, you must be valiant. And the essence of valiance is believing you are enough. This makes you brave. To be beautiful is to radiate Jesus. And to do so, we must have activated faith, which causes Christ to vibrantly shine, making us exceptional in this world. This makes you brave. From thence, we believe the revelation we receive through our quiet times adoring the one true king, through whom we find total victory as we endure the sufferings of this world. This makes you brave. The result of which we find deep truths, which lead to brilliant ideas. And we find resilience that allows us to become ambitious for the dreams placed inside of us in a virtuous and excellent manner. This makes you brave. Being brave is all about knowing who we are in Christ and allowing him to lead our steps, calling us higher and deeper, no matter the cost. So we're going to back up to the very first one and um, just start unpacking that. We're going to spend a couple weeks on being brave and embracing our opportunities and leaning into them and allowing that bravery that's been forged in us to become who we choose to be. So the first one is brave, real, alive, valiant, enough. And I just wanted to share a couple things I journaled in the last week or so. It is brave to give thanks to God in the midst of shame. But where I said shame, you could put whatever it is that stops, tries to stop you from wanting to connect with God. It is brave to continue choosing to love when so little love comes your way. I remember once my, when my second son was born, I had worked very little um, during that pregnancy. So I had less connection with less people and I had a lot less visitors and I was a little hurt. And I remember saying to the Lord, like, man, I have given a lot to these people. Like, where is the a lot coming back to me, like, why does no one care about my baby? And the Lord just whispered to me, he said, I thought you said you wanted to love with my love. I said, I do. 
He said, this is what it feels like. I give and give and give. And people rarely think about me. Loving with my love means loving with very little coming in return. And I thought, oh. And he said, do you still want to love with my love? I said, I do. I do. But then I knew what I was signing up for and I was still choosing it. That is brave. It is brave to live given. That is the bravest of braves. To pour yourself out. To live your life broken and openly pouring out of those broken places. That's the bravest of braves. And it makes us like Christ, right? God gave his son. That was the given. That is love. And Jesus gave his life. We get to live given as being our reflection of our creator and of our savior. And consider this, God gave us his son and Jesus gave us his life while we were still sinners. It is brave to hear God's word and put it into practice before the circumstances look Right. If God would have waited for us to have the right moment and to um, have our hearts completely ready, like when would have been the right time in humanity? But he just did it because it's who he is. He is love and he gives abundantly. And so we get to be wild receivers of that abundance, but then we get to also pour it out. And that living, given like Christ did, like God does, is the bravest of braves. Faith is brave because you're allowing perfect love to cast out all your fear. That's First John 4, 18. Hope is brave because going numb would feel a lot safer, but you choose to embrace the abundant life that Christ Jesus died to give you. John 10, and joy is brave because so many moments call for the opposite extreme. But you choose to tap into that eternal lifeline that his joy will be your strength. And that comes from Nehemiah 8.10. And peace is brave because everywhere you turn, anxiety is extending you an open invitation to come on a wild ride. But you're choosing still waters and said, that is so brave. Psalm 23, 2. You are brave. Saying yes to Jesus and allowing him to love you and to free you and saying the continual yes is in every moment kind of brave. This brave says, on my own, I can't. But with Christ, I can. I can love and be loved because he's in me and I'm in him and we're in the Father. So how is this forged in the fire? Because every chain that had been binding your brave was melted away. And the enemy's chains cannot withstand the fire of God. As you emerge from the refiner's fire, you are free to fly. Remember, fly meant Father loving you. And then there's this perpetual becoming that's on the other side of that undoing that happens in the fire. And it's the more I allow myself to be loved, the more I can say yes to his leadership. And then from that place, I allow myself to be loved a little more. And then I say yes a little more. And I'm loved a little more. And I say yes a little more. And before I know it, I'm like flying over canyons. And I'm like, whoa, when did this happen? When did this happen? When did I start believing? God. The fire begets freedom. And freedom begets brave. He makes you brave, bold, real, alive, valiant, enough. Let your boldness come from your testimony of Jesus Christ. Let your life be lived real and authentically in front of the watching world so they can see his hand, his power, and want to know him for himself. Allow yourself to live an abundant life that's beyond what you could ask, think, or imagine. So the world that's watching would say, I want some of that. Be valiant by saying, I'm enough because I'm in him and he's in me. 
and we're in the Father. That's the bravest thing we can declare to anybody listening. You are brave. Father, I just thank you that you have made us brave by giving us a boldness to declare your glory and your goodness and your love to the world by giving us courage to live our lives out authentically, real life, and letting people see the mess and the hardship and, and the miracle that comes within all of those gifts. I praise you and thank you that you came, that we could lose our lives and really live, that we could enter into an abundant eternal existence by your blood and your stripes in your death, burial, and ascension, that you gave us um, our heavenly place seated with you in the heavenly so we could really live. Help us to become fully alive. And I thank you and praise you for the valiant truth that you've made us enough. You created us and said that was good. Help us to be brave enough to have the supernatural courage to allow our lives to point to you in all of these ways. Give us courage this week to say yes to your love and to your leadership and to find ourselves soaring beyond anything we've ever dreamt of. Help us to know when a moment is available to increase our bravery and help us to say yes. We need you and we love you and we want more of you. And we ask these things according to your blood and your spirit and your power in your holy, perfect name, Lord Jesus.